So in today's video, we've got something interesting where I'm going to apply some fun exhibition shots and some different ways of maneuvering the cue ball around the table. But what I've done today is I've actually got my head cam on, so you'll be able to see from my perspective exactly how I'm playing all of these shots as well. So let's get on with the video. I really hope you enjoy it. Right, so in this first shot, this was one I saw Judd Trump playing. This is a nice shot playing from black to get onto the yellow off five cushions. So you can see where I'm striking on the cue ball there. Get right through the shot and the white should come round off five cushions, leaving us nicely on the yellow. So now you see from my point of view here, you can see where I'm striking on the white, couple of feathers, make sure you stay down on the shot. So right through the white, staying down, make sure you get that good strike on the white ball. And that brings the white all the way around, leaving a nice shot on that yellow. So this next one here is actually when you finish a little bit short on the pink and you need to get to the black, it's a nice looking shot, but it's the way the professionals would actually do it. So I've got to go above center so I don't go in off in the middle. Lots of right hand side, bringing the white round off. One, two, and then three cushions down for the black. So if we have a look now from my point of view here, so you can see I've got top of the white ball, lots of right hand side. Make sure you stay down until the pink's disappeared and then let the white come round. So you see the white coming round now, nicely down on the black. And then hopefully you can get your black to finish as well. So again, nice delivery, stay down until the black disappears. So this is another bit of an exhibition shot here now, using bottom and right hand side so that the white comes off the side cushion, flicks off the other two, and then back round for the black into the other corner there. So you can see here, bottom and right hand side to get the white spinning so that when it hits the side cushion, it goes down towards that black cushion and bounces off there and then goes around the table. Nice looking shot. You'll sometimes play that shot when the frame is already worn, but it does look nice when you get it right. Again, pot in the black, stay down until the black has disappeared and then you can move up off the shot. So this shot, this one's more difficult to play, a bit like a, a stun run through. You can see just above center, I've got to miss the black on the way down and then lots of right hand side again. So it comes down and then flicks off the black cushion, leaving the black into the opposite pocket. Again, nice looking shot when you get it right. So here we are from my point of view, a couple of feathers, right hand side look just above center, right through the shot, stay down and then it flicks off the cushion and back out for the black. Again, these shots really, just some fun shots so when the frame is finished and gets you confident and good to experiment using little bits of side. So now we've got long blue trying to screw into the pocket where I'm queuing from there. So I potted the blue, get the white to screw all the way back into the corner. Not an easy shot, you've got to really get through the white and try and queue nice and straight. So aiming at the bottom of the white, really get the screw back on there, push through, and then the white should zip back and come into the pocket where you're standing. This is a nice shot. Again, bottom and right hand side, trying to screw the white directly onto the black cushion. So I'm really getting through the shot, get that right hand side on, then when it hits the cushion, it'll flick off two cushions and hopefully land nicely on the blue. Again, if the frame is one, Good, fun shots for experimenting with using side. And there you can see where I'm aiming. So, again, that bottom and right hand side on there. Push through, stay down. Once the brown has disappeared, you can start watching the white. And then walking around and left myself a nice shot on the blue there. So this blue now, top and right hand side. And I'm trying to come round off three cushions here. So, up the top. Let the right hand side bring me round off three. And the fourth there as well. So if we look from my point of view, top and right. So I deliver the cue, stay down. So you see a nice delivery. Then I'll start moving once the blue's disappeared. The white comes round. And you can actually see now, we've got the shot we just played earlier. More distance now between the white and the pink. But if I played bottom and right hand side on this, screw off the side cushion, off the black cushion, and there's that little exhibition shot 
round onto the black. Finish a little bit shorter than I wanted to this time. But again, down on the shot. Cue right through the shot. Send the white round the table. Nice, confident finish there. So going into the pack here, and I'm actually going to play this shot with screw and left-hand side. The reason you'll sometimes see professionals play left-hand side is that when the white hits the side cushion, I don't want to lose the white too much and for the white to get stuck on the black cushion. So I lost it a little bit there, but you can see that what the left-hand side is doing, it's making the white stay more up the in the middle of the table instead of it screwing down towards the black cushion. So I've landed just off the cushion, which does leave me a shot on this red, and I just thought I'd play it just to say, okay, well, I've got half a chance at this red. You can pop that, get onto the black, and then you can continue your break from there. So now we're looking at splitting the pack here. So the brown into the pack, you see the professionals play this shot. So a bit above center, lots of left-hand side. Stay down on the shot, and the white should come down right into the center of that pack of reds. So you can see, a bit above center, lots of left, right through the shot, stay down there until I see that the brown has disappeared. And again, the split is, is good there. I've got a choice of a couple of reds, just having a look at what would be potable here. And I decide that, yeah, actually I could pop this red to the middle here, little holding shot for the pink. So as long as I get this red here, nice little holding shot for that pink and I could continue the break. Same kind of idea here, but we're going in off the green now. So again, not quite a pure screw shot because I'll go too close to the middle. Little bit of right hand side. Again, stay down on the shot, into the reds. I actually got into it, didn't quite get into it as much as I wanted to because I hit the pink there, but so make sure the green's gone in. Once that green disappears, I can start looking up and see where the white's gone. And again, on this one, I just decide to pop the next red. And I know that if I just hit this plain ball, I should come through the gap of the two reds just above the black, leaving the black into the same pocket that I was potting the red and I found that gap nicely. Then you could carry on your break again there. So this shot here, the last one, bottom and right hand side again, trying to screw round off three cushions. So lots of screw, get that right hand side on and your white should zip round off the two cushions and then that third cushion there. Again, these are exhibition shots, some good fun things to practice using side when the frame is already over. So you could see where I stuck there on that one. Again, just gonna finish these couple of shots off here. So I pop the pink, stay down until I see the pink in, then I can start moving. And then again with the black, stay down, I know the black's in, and then you can start moving. So as always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give the video a like. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. That just really helps me to keep this content coming. I do lots of fun videos like this one, and I also do lots of instructional videos helping people to improve their own game. So as always, thanks a lot for watching everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.